So let's go back to our rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle in the top right quadrant of our screen and then we're going to explore how we can stay on axis when we're drawing in 3D. So I'm going to click once in the top right corner, move my cursor to suggest a direction and then type in 10 apostrophe comma 5 apostrophe enter. So we're going to make that rectangle at 10 feet by 5 feet. Next, I'll push down on my scroll wheel button and orbit into a 3D view. Try to get to a view that kind of matches mine. So you have your red axis projecting to the right and the green axis projecting to the left. Now we have three techniques to stay on axis when we're drawing in 3D. So we're going to go back to our line tool and the first one is kind of the easiest one. This is a fail safe method. So we're going to click once on that front right corner and that starts our line. And now as I start moving around I can tap the up arrow key. When I tap that up arrow key it automatically locks my blue axis. So now I don't have to fish around and find the blue axis. I'm locked on there. So either the up or the down arrow key will lock that. I can unlock it by tapping the up arrow key again. So it's a toggle. I'm going to tap it one more time to turn that on and lock my blue axis, move my cursor to suggest a direction, and then type 3 apostrophe enter. So now I've drawn that line straight up on the blue axis by 3 feet. You can see here I'm still locked on that blue axis, so now I want to draw on the green axis. So I can tap the left arrow key, and now I'm drawing on my green axis. So I remember the, the arrow keys and the colors of the axes by right is red. So when I tap the right arrow key, that's the red axis. Left arrow key is green, and up or down is blue. So now as I come over here on my green axis, all I need to do is define a distance. Because our active line is locked, I can touch that back point and click to define my distance, and then click again to finish. So again, now that we have a closed loop of coplanar edges, we get a surface that fills in. So our first technique for locking, uh, our first technique for staying on axis when we're drafting in 3D is using those arrow keys to lock an axis. Now, let's take a look at how we can manually lock an axis. So instead of that automated process of just locking it, this time we're gonna find our axis and then hold down shift and that's gonna lock it. Now this is not a toggle, so uh, we're gonna click on this back top corner and then I'm going to move my mouse around and find my red axis. And it tells me I'm on my red axis and I can hold down the shift key. Notice that the active line gets bold and it's locked on that red axis as long as I hold the shift key down. Now if I was to let go of that shift key, I lose my locked axis. So I need to find my red axis. I get a cue that says on red axis, hold down shift. And then just like we did before, I'm going to come down here and click to define my distance, let go of the shift key, and then we'll click again to fill in the, the blanks there. So again, we have our closed loop of coplanar edges and we've created a surface. And you can see that we're really staying on axis when you start to orbit. Everything is drawn perfectly at right angles in 3D. Now let's orbit to a view that is strategic for what we're working on. If I was to try and draw in this surface by looking at it like this, I'm going to have a lot of uh, inferences kind of projecting onto different surfaces and points that are, uh, that are on my screen right now. So if I was to kind of orbit this way, we have nothing beyond when we're drawing this back wall. So we're going to click once on that top back corner to start. And this time, instead of locking axes, we're going to use the inference engine in 3D. So as I come over here on the green axis, paying very close attention to which direction I'm drawing in, because I want to come forward on the green, you can see I'm already getting an inference projecting from that front top corner. Now if I want to encourage an inference, I can always come down here and hover on an endpoint, and now I get my blue inference projecting up. So that dotted blue line is an inference line, my active line is green, and I can click where they intersect and now connect the dots. So those are our three techniques for staying on axis when we're drafting in 3D. We use our arrow keys, tap those as a toggle to lock our axes. We can find an axis and hold down shift, that'll lock an axis, 
or a more advanced technique is to use the inference engine and pay very close attention to which direction we're drawing in and which inference line is projecting forward. So at this point, we can just connect our dots from corner to corner and finish off that 3D shape. Now, to finish up this exercise, let's go to Window and take a look at our Instructor. So under Window, Instructor. Now this is a great exercise, a five minute exercise to do on your own. Open up the Instructor and explore all of the different tools on your large tool set, or for that matter, any of the icons on any of the toolbars. So you could just go through and open up all these toolbars and then start clicking. When I click on the Select tool, the instructor switches over and it tells me how the select tool works. So now you can see we have modifier keys, what I, I need to hold down to make it do different things. And we also have a couple of articles on advanced operations. So you can see as you click through these guys, uh, the instructor will continue to tell you different lessons on each of these tools. So this is a great way to get started on learning any software is to just go through and take a look at all the tools that are available to you.